know, it's that time, guys. Thank you so much. It's time for Seven Minutes with Seven Signal, where we take a little feature inside Seven Signal, unpack it, and show you how it can have huge value. So come on, let's take a look. I'm going to share my screen here. Bada boom. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is a little bit about what we've been talking about with being able to see adapter driver combinations inside Seven Signal. So what we're looking at here, and if you can see my screen, give me a thumbs up. All right, thank you everybody. All right, so what we're looking at here are different wireless LAN adapter and driver combinations as you can see here. And, and this is really fantastic because as we know, roaming issues, you know, whether to stick, whether to, whether to roam, whether to stay or whether to go, all of that is, is adapters and drivers, you guys know that. And so very easily I can take a look at all of these different combinations that are on my network. Not only that, but I can even zero in, hey, let's take a look at individual client performance. And when I click this link right here, what's going to happen is it's going to load all of the clients in my system and show me what is the configuration? Is it an HP computer? Is it a Dell computer? Does it have this version of the adapter driver or that version of the adapter driver? It's going to load it right here. And then more importantly, I can see its performance all the way to the far right. You can see the performance over here. And I can see just how severe the issue is. And then I can take steps accordingly. So that's a lot of fun to be able to do that, to zero in on certain configurations of computer. All right, now let's take it on over to the Sapphire side. So I'm going to go over here to Sapphire Analyzer. And when I'm in Sapphire Analyzer, Another aspect of, of looking at what's going on from the client perspective and what's going on in the air is I love being able to single out certain device types based upon their OUI, based upon their Mac, and then see what their retry rate is, see what their client performance is, see what they're doing over the air. And we can do that when we have a Sapphire Eye. The Sapphire Eye, it's like sniffing what's going on in the air and taking these little packet captures all the while. And then we can put it into this interface here. Let me show you what that looks like. So here I'm on the frames tab. Over here, I've switched this to client. And over here, these are all of the different OUIs that we've plucked out of the air. And here's that unknown category that Mike was talking about. And what I'm going to do to keep this kind of truncated, if you will, is let's just take a look at the Intel corporate. Those are going to be my Dell laptops, my HP laptops, Microsoft laptops. And when I run this report, I'm looking at it for just the last six hours, 10 minute averages, and I can see as I mouse over these dots, it's going to give me the MAC address of this Intel device, and I can see what its retry rate is. I can see what's going on in the air from that device's point of view. So it's really incredible. Now, when I scroll down a little bit here, look at this the signal level. Okay, so this is basically the the signal strength that this device is, is getting. And look, I just want to call your attention here that the, the lowest signal strength that I see here is minus 69, minus 70 for these Intel corporate devices. Okay, now check this out. I'm going to switch this to Apple. So I'm going to uncheck Intel, go to Apple. I'm going to hit report. Let's watch what happens. Wow. Okay. First of all, a lot more Apple devices. These are going to be my MacBooks and such, my iPhones that are in the environment. But look at this, guys. Look how the scale has gone down. I've got a lot of Apple devices that are connecting at minus 76. Here's another one connecting at minus 75. Now, doesn't that go along and support what we've always said? And even what Apple says on their website with regards to, hey, they're going to stay on an access point at a lower signal strength before they decide to roam. And so we do, we see those devices at these lower signal strengths. And we all know that, you know, if I've got lower signal strength, I'm gonna have lower signal to noise ratio. If I've got that, then I'm gonna have lower MCSs. There you have it, guys. There you have it. All the evidence you need right here to see how these different devices are performing in your environment when you have a Sapphire Eye, it's amazing. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you enjoyed our time together today. And I just want to remind you all out there that while you and me, we can't see or hear Wi-Fi, but Seven Signal can. Thanks for having us today.